Hey everybody, it's Liz. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to share another project, um, another inexpensive gift idea that you can use for your Valentine's Day Happy Meal. And it involves these cute little bath bombs that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Of course, this is an empty bag. I've already used the little bath bombs, but they come three in a pack. They come in different fragrances and I thought the size was really cute for what I had in mind. So you can definitely pick these up at Dollar Tree. Um, I don't know where else you would find that size, but you know, you can use any type of bath bomb that you like, of course. So I'm just sharing the ones that I used. Okay, so let's jump right in. I just decided to create these cute little packages for the bath bombs. I thought this would be a great little Happy Meal idea. Again, this is perfect for Valentine's Day, Galentine's, you know, all that good stuff. So these turned out really, really cute. So basically you just start off with the bath bombs. I like that they have like shrink wrap around them. And I just used uh, some clear bags that I had in my stash that fit you know, two of the bath bombs. I added some crinkle paper to the bag and then I sealed it and I went ahead and created a bag topper for the packaging. So basically I took a piece of pattern paper and this collection you've already seen because I used it in my previous projects. It's an older collection by my, with my, uh, for Michaels. And what I did is I took a strip of paper, I cut it to I think four and one eighth by three. I scored it down the middle and then folded it over. So as you can see, it's just like a, a folded over piece of paper. I did use my stapler to um, you know adhere it to the bag. And then I went ahead and decorated using you know some little uh, circular embellishments that I created. Uh, so I took two sizes of these scallop circles and I cut them out from the design paper. And I also cut it out using some glittered tool that you can see in the background. And then I layered each of the pieces together. I did add some foam for dimension. And then I had these little small strips of leftover ribbon just kind of sitting there. And I thought it'd be a great way to add some texture. So I actually have like a tiny piece of ribbon that goes across and I just kind of glued it on there. Um, I cut out this fishtail banner that goes across and then I added some fussy cut elements that I cut out from the collection such as these hearts and the cute little cupcake. And then I have like a little sequin bit right there. And like I mentioned earlier, everything is popped in foam to give it some dimension. I then adhered that embellishment onto my uh, bag topper. And then here you have another banner that I just cut out from the pattern paper. And then I fussy cut this from the collection and it just says hashtag besties. And I thought that was just a perfect little way to finish off the packaging. And then just some sequins in the background as you can see, but it's really cute. Um, I think these bath bombs are a really great way to, you know, give somebody a little cute little pampering gift. Who doesn't like to take a nice warm bath and add, you know, some fizz to their water. So that's the first one. I made a couple different ones. Here's the next one. Pretty much everything is, you know, the same thing. Just I changed the detail up, of course, with the elements that I used. This one has a cute little like Valentine's Day card that says, do you like me? Yes or no. I've got some hearts in the background. And I also did the scallop circles here with the gold tool and then the banner that goes across. And then this one has another piece of ribbon as well. I just, like I said, it's just like scraps of ribbon that I had in my stash. Kind of just, I keep everything. <laughs> I'm such, I'm so weird. You never know when you're going to need it, right? So I just had like a little tiny piece. I'm like, you know what? Let me add that on there. So that's the second one. And then the third one is right here. And this one's really cute as well. So this one has a little camera and again, the different uh, hearts. And this one has like a black and white checked piece of ribbon in the back. You can barely see it, but you know, it's there and it's cute and it's whatever. <laughs> so I just thought I'd add it for, you know, some little texture. So that's the last one here. Very, very easy to put these together. You guys, it takes no time at all. Just create a bag topper, have a clear bag and add some crinkle shred. And again, you can use any type of bath bomb that you like. Um, I was actually looking for, I had seen them a long time ago. I don't remember where, but it, they were, um, I think it was like, a, I forget what they call them, but they were shaped like rose petals and they're meant to go in the bath and they just dissolve and release fragrance. I was looking for those because I had an idea for those, but I, ha I haven't been able to find them. So when I saw these little smaller bath bombs, I thought this would be a cute idea as well. So really cute, right? And it's very inexpensive. I picked up two packs from the dollar store, Dollar Tree, and I, I may ended up making three of them. So really, really cute. So I just wanted to share that with you. I think these are great little packages to send again in your Happy Meal 
for Valentine's Day, for your swaps, all that good stuff. It's just like a fun little treat. So just wanted to share that. Let me know what you think. And if you want to give these a go, let me know. And you know, tag me or send me your video or whatever. I'd love to see what you come up with. So thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to leave a comment down below. Hit that like button if you liked my video. And of course, I will be seeing you real soon with hopefully more, you know, Valentine's Day gift ideas. So thank you so much and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye everyone.